Alrighty, and we are ready to begin. I managed my armor real quick while we were... While I was getting stuff set up for stream. So I look like this now. I think I have a slightly higher armor rating. I don't know. I just wanted to wear a different set. Hmm. I moved us over to this person. We still have to defeat the Nightweaver. Uh, there's a bunch of dialogue I missed for them. I'd like to see what you can craft. Prevents curse blight. Bunch of things I don't know about. That's interesting. And a fairy needle. I have some questions. What was your world like before? Fields of green and blue and fuchsia, cheerful glades lit with the songs of our people. You have not seen the like, strange one, for it does not exist. One can see hints of it here and there, intertwined with the dreary sphere that has since festered around us. <sighs> I will find a way to restore it. Indeed, the seed of a plan has already been set in motion. Yet, so much remains mere hope and conjecture. Perhaps one day... Anything I can do to help? Alas, no. See to your own concerns, strange one. And I will see to mine. What happened to the, the one true king? The true king ruled this kingdom with an iron fist. Mollifying his subjects with promises of freedom and prosperity. And to be sure, there was prosperity for some. Those who did not offer praise and fealty, who did not share in the royal values, who were deemed unworthy in myriad ways, their prosperity was taken and given to the favored. It was freedom for some at a cost to many. And eventually, there were some who sought to plot against him. And so, one tyrant was replaced with another. The one true king was inviolate, but the imposter called upon a dark magic. And thus were two kingdoms twined, and thus, chaos surrounding. What happened when the one true king was killed? Before his deposition, there were those who believed it foolishness to oppose the one true king, that our very world relied upon his rule. Game does not this like me clicking out of it. True. I saw it myself at the end. In the final seconds before our kingdoms collided, the twining was not mere coincidence nor punishment. It was an inevitable consequence. Two worlds ruined by the hubris of the one. I feel like they're pieces of the story you're not telling me. It is amusing that you think I owe you anything at all, strange one. I have told you all that I wish to, just as you have told me all that you wish to reveal about yourself. Tell me more about this night weaver. In spite of everything, your resourcefulness is quite plain. The way is clear, or shall be once you step foot upon it. Bring the heart certainly. I don't have any more questions. I should keep moving. Alright, odd. What happens if Okay. That is just death. Good to know. You know, you gotta try it, though. Like, at least once. Hmm. Did we ever pick up a gear? Let me check my inventory. We have not. I don't really have many quest items on me. I have some stuff I can sell, but I don't really care to do that right now. 
I'm supposed to go to the Tormented Asylum to finish killing off the boss. But I want to go to the Council Chamber because I still need to find out the imposter. Hmm. I'm going to go through their dialogue again just to check if there's an option I was missing. And now that I've talked to uh, the uh, Nimun, maybe we have some options now. Apparently, I don't have any options. <laughs> hmm. Can I do anything to this door back here? I cannot. Can't join your flax either. Hmm. I have no clue what we're missing here. Found the Night Reaver. I guess I'll just go and try to deal with them again. I'm actually going to go back to Ward 13 first, and... Uh, what's it called? Oh, hello there. I'm going to go back to Ward 13, upgrade my Stink Thrower if I have the resources, and then go back to the boss fight. I feel like Corrosion alongside being able to take care of the little ads the boss summons in should be quite nice. I think the Stink Thrower also leaves lingering corrosive puddles whenever I kill an enemy, so the adds will be weaponized against the Nightweaver. Hmm. Can I actually sell things to you? I'd like to upgrade my weapons. No, I can't sell stuff to you. That makes sense. Hi. Can you exit your idle animation, please? Thank you. Can you grab something for me? Sell. I'd like to sell that concoction. This one as well. Sell the black tar. No clue what the full blood moon essences are used for still. And let's pop that money into the stink grower if it's enough. No, I don't have enough iron. Oh, to this scrap shop we shop we go. I got a notion what's really in my tooth stew. Good day. Hey, welcome back. Hey. As the night weaver. They have been kicking my butt. Oh, there's new rings here. Alright. I only need to buy one. I'm about to upgrade my uh, stink thrower a little bit so that I can actually deal with their ads more easily. Yeah, I just need a lot more iron. Okay. Let's get that equipped. So I'm probably going to keep the long rifle. It's probably my best DPS primary weapon. The crossbow technically has a higher DPS. I should try it out in the boss fight. Hmm. Wouldn't the no ammo labyrinth gun be good? Because the ads are always close. Potentially, but the fire rate on it's still rather slow when I get close up to an enemy. I I should try out its special ability though sometime. Hmm. That is an interesting idea though. I think the shield only blocks projectiles, so it won't be the most useful. The Tormented Asylum. I was just watching one of my buddies play this, and his layout for this world is completely different than mine, which is really cool. Got, like, entirely different sub-areas, too. He played a bit, got curb-stamped on the robot planet. Yeah. The elite variants of enemies there are freaking brutal. Is the statue still there? 
Why does it glow like that? Yep, all the paths are blocked off. I can't go to uh, Werewolf Land again. You're stuck in the train. I never ran into the train myself. Hmm. What if putting the statue makes the boss hard harder? I, I don't think it does. I think it's just a way to get the Dreamcatcher. Uh, what are my subclasses again? Hunter and Doggo. I think I want to keep Hunter on. Ow. Dodge too early there. Just a touch too early. That attack is brutal, but I'm getting better at it very slowly. I did not mean to do that. Let me just reset that again real quick. Oh wait, I still have him? Wait, what? Oh, they went away. Get used to that timing again. Definitely gonna take a bit getting used to again. She just does so much damage. Let me re-equip that perfect dodge roll. I don't care about firearm range here. I'm tempted to try Sidewinder out here. But uh, I'm going to stick with this loadout for now. Ow, the gunk does so much. the attack I thought that was. Oh boy. Don't, don't you, like, have a second phase or something? What is going on? Yup. Alright, then. That makes sense. Ooh. 
Whoa. What the hell? That was one heck of a damage. God damn. Hmm. Do I have any better animals? Not really. I think I need to try to spec a little bit more into survivability as opposed to going for pure damage dealing. So I'm going to put on the stamina use ring. See that through my own stuff. Ah, oh, come on, I totally dodged that. A few levels and dodge distance would be nice, probably. I've used all my trade points though. I just need to get decent at dodging that one attack. Stop saying I'm a pecan, I don't like it. Not too early there, but we're good. Get back here, you little rat person. Come on, show yourself. Oh, 
Oh, hello. Where'd you go? No. Ah, oh, we got we got pretty close there. Alrighty. Sorry, I'm, I'm not talking much. I need to focus for this fight. It is real rough. Touch too early. Slapped. I was hoping I could hide behind the pillar. Did not work out for me. All righty. I'm definitely keeping my wolf ring on. Hey, welcome on in, Sirlock. How goes it? I'm just getting my butt handed to me. Ah. I lost the timing again. Jeep made expensive noises when you went to this store. 
Yeah. Oh no. I should not be alive. And I am no longer alive. They really suck. The nebula is definitely working out for me a little bit better than the double barrel. But the double barrel can put out serious DPS. Hmm. It's very hard to see those projectiles when the hunter's aura is on. Too early again. Ow. I have no clue what that was. I think she caught me with her rubber cut. Surely again, damn. Ah. Pulling out all the attacks I don't know that time. I don't know exactly how that uppercut works, but it can hit directly behind her. Keep on dodging too early.
Ah. Oh, she died. <laughs> Just an insta kill? It is. Damn. She's in the walls. I feel like I need me some blood work, but also consumables are way too expensive. I'm deported by any anyway. Dead attempt. Hmm. This could take a while. don't quite understand that uppercut kind of scary she's that hard yeah it's absurd she just does crazy amounts of damage everything she does is a two shot or one shot I feel sorry for people who got this as their first zone. What? That's a very weird amount of range. early damn Mm-hmm. 
Why do you look like that? Why are you doing this to me? It was like a prompt that was about to appear. I don't know what it was doing there. But I guess she just has another insta-kill attack I gotta be scared of. It also doesn't look like I get any chance to hit her in a weak spot on that second phase. Maybe when she's spawning in adds, but I have to worry about healing then. I swap out the shielding with health regen. too early. do there. Come on, did I hit the fence or something? I couldn't dodge because my dude tried to climb the ledge. What the hell?
get back here. You have to be frickin' me. Really? That, that's such an interesting and unique boss mechanic. As if her other attacks didn't already do enough damage. I had to throw a few insta kills in there. way too early. And I did it again. Needed to dodge the other way. Maybe get the dog she's grounded in part two. Yeah, but they they really only do like 30 damage at a time. The extra crit damage is probably more worthwhile. And a few more attempts, I'll swap to the dog to see if that does me any good, though. Hello, let me trigger my ability. Thank you. way too early again. Gunked. Hmm. Ah, screw it. I'll try the dog now. The extra damage resistance will be helpful at the very least. Try to support dog. And touch the checkpoint again because it's decharged. Dog. The dog has issues following me into the arena sometimes, which is a bit of pain. Dodge too early. Oh, 
Why didn't hit that do anything this time? I just got out of range of it that time. Ow. All right, three hearts for second phase, and I got dog regen. You're rattling bones. Welcome on in, bot. How goes it? I'm getting my butt handled currently. My butt handed to me, I should say. Bad, relaxing Minecraft. Going in the wall for an insta kill, I see. There's ads coming from somewhere. Upstairs, I think. Get off, get away from the wall. glitched for the dog so I couldn't frickin She's summoning in Gunkers again. No, no, thank you, dog. Oh, my God, yes. He rock and stoke. She seems like a mad spunker. What's her deal? I gotta get this back to the keeper. Dog for the win, indeed. We're rich. Jesus, that was freaking brutal. She has so many insta kill moves, but apparently the dog is the savior. 
this boss is seems to be designed for co-op play, which is why the dog can knock it knock her off of me. I guess any damage breaks grabs. Any non-status damage breaks grabs. I wonder, can I get around anywhere here? Is there anywhere I can go in the B side of the asylum? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Whatever, we're out of here. So you got a dog. Nice. Yeah. I figured out how to get additional... You better drop good loot. I know, right? Let's get some extra evade distance up in here. Um, Let's get this back to the ward, though. See what we can make out of it. And then we get to return to the Keeper in the Labyrinth. Hmm. Ethereal Orb. Ponder the Orb. The dog is great, though. What is it? Can you grab something for me? The Nightfall. I am too poor because the boss gave me like no money apparently. Enter the Nightmare Realm. Nightfall gains infinite ammo, fire rate, increased life steal, and becomes fully automatic. The wielder also becomes significantly harder to hit while moving, disables other weapons and skills for the duration until it is deactivated. That sounds pretty fun. Okay, we're done. I'm poor though, so I need to see if I can sell something. What you got? Sell. Bleeding this bleeding status effect doesn't last for very long, and I'm never gonna hot slot these anyway. And we have enough to buy the gun now. So I heard there was a secret class, the engineer. I don't know how you get it. Yeah, I've heard about it too. I have no clue about it either. Oh, well, this is a goofy one. Oh no, why, why does the gun have fingers? No, don't do that. Why does it have fingers? No. Missed opportunity to make the trigger a finger too, I'm gonna be honest. My trigger finger's getting itchy again. Finger gun. <laughs> exactly. Well, I'd say that's pretty good. Or it will be pretty good once it's upgraded. I don't have the money though. So somebody can hold my hand. Ah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, let, let's put the Wrangler back on. Into the labyrinth we go. I do I do want to explore the labyrinth a little bit more. I'm curious. They say that that gun is, well, handy. Yeah, sounds about right. All right, I'm going to be right back while we load in. Give me a second. Alrighty, I return. You sleep in bed with your gun and she lovingly strokes your chin. Oh my god, no. 
No. <laughs> I get so cursed. Alrighty. Let's see here. Oh, the weird flowers are gone. Hmm. Uh, Alright, let me guess. The keeper's gonna be evil the whole time. Oh, we're in the Astrolabe. It is I, Anomaly. You have done well. Clementine's trust is well founded. Twice the corruption infected the system. Containment was the most efficient response. Preserve the irregularity for later inquiry. But it festered, grew beyond my sight and corrupted the core. Even so, it might yet have been contained. Had the destroyer not eliminated this realm's guardian, the labyrinth became unprotected, and my resources stretched thin. With the destroyer as a conduit, the corruption spread unchecked from the core to countless realms. Is the destroyer the dreamer from the first game or somebody from a DLC that I missed? Restrain the rot. All efforts failed. The system was beyond repair. I was too late. Cortana, activate the halo rings. A solution has been revealed. Not to me. To yeah, Destroyer was the uh, remnant one boss where we clapped him. Alright. A failed thing. Of my own oh my gosh, it's the index. The Halo reference works so well. And how does this help us exactly? All I'll say is, from what I know, don't trust the tree. Yeah, I, I haven't been trusting the tree this whole time. Good, right? Well, the first probability is that the root wins. So, yeah. The corruption is everywhere, but it originates from a single source, a single realm. The labyrinth holds all doors and infinite possibilities. When the corruption spread, the door to their realm was closed, even to me. But within, I can subvert their defenses. From here, it is possible to purge the corruption. And that means we kill them, right? The root? All of them this time. For good. Oh boy. You know, let me explore the labyrinth a little bit. I mean, this this is just a bit much. <laughs> Don't mind me. Bravely, bravely, bravely running away. Hmm. There's got to be some stuff I've missed here, especially since there is a warp gate going into the cargo crate by Ward 13. Or the cargo ship, whatever you want to call it. I want to find that. Just a viewing platform? Okay. Nothing over here. That's a cube boss fight, I'm pretty sure. The root has it coming. They insulted us. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, that's not good. Looks like some sort of corruptions in those holes. I don't know if that was there before. Checkpoint updated. Why does this little area go out like that, huh? Any secrets over here? Any goodies? There's also this big section over here that I've apparently gotten to before. That's odd. Looks like another portal room. I get to a spot where I can actually look at it. Which means I'm gonna have to fight a few random goobers. Oh no, it's on the upper floor. Where is it? There's something over there. Oh, is that the area with the weird warping bridge? I think it might be. I have no clue why I'm losing frames here. Let me re-equip my extra scrap charm. No, it's not. That's the way with the warping bridge, but over there. Wish I could see where that portal was on the map. It's like big chunks of this place I still haven't managed to get into. Hmm. Gotta check for fake walls now that we found one. How have I been there before? Might be something related to this portal, like it sweeps past one of the areas that it gets really close to. This area to the boss. the secret portal and that's the other side of the wall right there hmm. safe to say I'm pretty clueless here Oh, apparently there's a whole area up here I haven't been to. Oh yeah, that part isn't connected, I forgot. Forgotten Prison, Red Throne, Marrow. Well, looks like the only way through is forward. Guess it's time to take the fight to the root. Sanctum. Hell, it's about time. <laughs> I 
me recharge my mods, even though that's probably a load zone. Hmm. Let's go. Well, let's actually talk to you guys first. I have some questions. You're very different from before. What happened? Clementine has aided me in ways I could not foresee. She enabled the reallocation of necessary resources, which enabled the return to a former consciousness. We need to look for oil. I mean, chemical weapons under the surface of the root world. Has occurred. The explanation of which is. Difficult. It is outside my experience. Can you elaborate on this? Presence has changed my perception. Before, there were doors and worlds. There was the core, its children, and the keeper. There was purpose. All of that remains, but now its meaning differs. It has meaning. Though that meaning remains elusive, perhaps that is the difference. The final. Ah, uh, see. You. you have anything to say, Clementine? Any, eh? Once you take out whatever's on the other side of that, the ward will be safe. Everyone will. Everywhere. For good. Oh wow, that's a lot of dialogue. Have you seen Ford since you left? No. Not that I've bothered to look. That old man's got his own journey. Same as me. You know why the Keeper looks so different? No. I don't think I could ever understand everything about him. But I know now it has something to do with me. I'm connected to the Keeper. And our bond is... You know how they say you become like the people you hang out with? I think in the labyrinth that might be literally I think some plot twist is a coming yeah that's as close as I can explain it hey, uh, I'm gonna get going Ford at the very beginning of the game was like I don't know if the same Ford ever stepped out of this portal so I wouldn't be surprised if he got corrupted somehow back to earth you go I don't know this is a realm that has been completely corrupted by the root. Earth has not been completely corrupted just yet. Only partially. Hmm. Mud rub. Maybe it is Earth. Well, that's not a good sign. Now what? Damn. What are all these gunk noises I'm hearing? You were right, uh, apparently. Oh, there's like little root sproutlings. Weird. This doesn't have any spots marked in them. Never mind. Just that little stairway didn't, I guess. It's Earth 1 from the first game on from Earth 2. Ah, naturally.
Oh, come on. Leave my dog alone, god damn it. Can't be we trapped the dreamer in Harris Garden. It's A, not B, Earth. Ah. Get over here, you little brute rat. They're in the floor. Living landmine. Performance is being a bit odd here. This looks suspicious. Can't be worse than the dream catcher. <laughs> Oh, that's peculiar. All the enemies here are, like, really weak. What is with this frame rate, though? Constant tremors going everywhere really, really does not agree with my computer. Oh, come on. I was pressing space. Rem souls likes now with jumping. The chests even look like they do in Resi Resident Evil 1. Ah, yes, but of course in Remnant 1. Yeah, they do look real similar. The Reaping Stone. After elemental status effects is removed from the wearer, they become immune to all elemental status effects and gain 2% of base damage dealt as lifesteal for a little bit. Interesting. So if I had a weapon that applied mild status effects to myself, that'd be probably a good use case for it. That was the first boss that you fight. I don't know what I got hit by there. But my dog was gonna heal me up. I can't hit those guys from here. Well, I, I'm hitting them. They're dropping, like, blood particles when I slap them, but... It's not actually doing anything. Maybe they're not fully loaded in. Let's just shortcut back down. Looks like potentially a different room, and it is. Okay. At least these guys are really easy to crit with a melee. New heart. 
New heart. On use, regenerates 50% of max health over 5 seconds when heal ends. Any overhealed health is doubled and eroded over the next 20 seconds. That's interesting. I prefer my instant heal, though. The game really hasn't given me enough items to actually fabricate a proper build around, like, pure lifesteal or something like that. So, I, I really won't be able to use the hearts too much. Or the heart variants, I should say. I'm definitely interested in tripping now. But they all take the same amount of time to use as the basic heal heart. Great book, hell yeah. Let's go for... nah. Increase mod generation. I'm actually good on top of any of these. I don't think so. Oh boy. Fog wall is comforting. Well, let's go, doggo. spawning all the elites on on me. Anything extra spooky going to happen, or are we just fighting some basic dudes? Malik just spawned in, I think. Yup. Hello there, root knight looking dude. My game just froze. Well. Oh, come on. What am I supposed to do when the frame rate's against me? It does not like this zone. It very much does not. Oh, I can't just jump in there. I'm happy with my loadout for now. Just gonna explore around here real quick, see if there's anything I can do. There's a blockade at the end of the fog wall. Thank you, dog.
It's applying some sort of status effect. I don't know if that's root rot or not, though. Anticipate dog. I saw an item over here. Holy hell. No, mind if I do? It's in the middle of a boss fight. Audio cut out. Game does not like this man. Hey, only I'm allowed to throw spears. Well, I'm glad I went to the other side of him. Ow. I didn't even get hit by that. What is with this dude being so buggy, though? This is like the first time I've actually run into gameplay bugs, but like, that guy's breaking the game. Hey, monster, leave the dog alone. Exactly. You tell him. I should have seen what the Haymaker's Ring does, but it's probably something stupid like on our melee damage. What am I standing on? Lagman has been defeated. Glad that's over. Glad that's over. Ooh. 
We did it, boys. We killed the lag. First try. Yeah. I wasn't expecting it to let me do that. They're giving me a concerning amount of chests, but also I haven't seen hardened iron yet. I'm still giving, getting galvanized iron and stuff. I'm gonna go to the ward real quick. Wanna see what I can buy. Oh. That's comforting. I feel like those weren't there before. Oh, are those the crystal shards I were collect I was collecting from the major bosses? Could be it. Like to upgrade my equipment. I haven't upgraded any of my weapons past forged iron tier. Wrangler plus 10. Pretty good. How's the... Do I have anything to sell? No. Eh, not really. Still kind of low on basic iron, but it's just my fault about that for selling like 40 of it early on. But that was before they patched the game and made it possible to get scrap normally. Return to last checkpoint. Hmm. I hear chest in there. I hear several. Is the ward red? Yeah, this guy's kind of red and there's silhouettes and lightning. Bonk of power. Sounds promising. Let's take a look at it. Increase the all damage consuming a relic doubles the bonus. Ooh. That's interesting. Hey, Maker's Ring. Increase melee damage by 0.2 for every one point of armor encumbrance. That's weird. Encourages fat roll on a melee build, which is... unfathomably cursed. Wait. Just a similar layout to the reactor room in Remnant Run 1. Just with a bit of extras on it. Interesting. I'm coming for you, goobers. This is the ward, yeah.
what's in here, I wonder. Probably another ring that I don't want to use. <laughs> the Dying Ember. Gain 5% of melee damage dealt as lifesteal. Interesting. I haven't found any encumbrance redu reducing the wombo combo ring, exactly. I haven't found any encumbrance reducing items, which is a bit unfortunate. I would really like to wear the full set of this armor. That's the bottom of the warehouse we were in earlier. Oh, we're just on top of the building. All right, then. I'm glad we found the spear. I really like its attack patterns. Another checkpoint. Mm -hmm. That's ominous. The keeper, he freaking moved us back in time and rewrote history. Possibly. Oh boy. Yeah, seems about right. It's a mind flare. Cool. You are cancer, goddamn. Oh, it's just cancer. Yeah, you know. Okay, those guys' attacks are very weird. Let me equip an item that actually gives me damage, though. <laughs> I have that ring on, which is basically useless. There, 15% extra damage. Ow. Ah, uh -uh. I need to stay still when he does that weird. I died trying to use my dog skill. Oh, you have a lot of health. That's a concerning amount of health. And the frame rate's even more concerning. Can't fight jack crap if I can't see what's happening. Hmm. Is my lightning orb just still chilling in there? It was. That's funny.
The thing is, it's not that they're trying to kill you. Your PC, on the other hand, <laughs> yeah. Okay, his crit spot is on his back. I can tell that much now, at least. I do not want this equipped. Well, I think I actually want this equipped, but I want it to be corrosive rounds. Wait, where a bullet come out of? Where's the bullet come out of? Weird. Let's see, how much money do I have? 500. Just keep on rolling. Don't ask questions you do not want to know the answer to. <laughs> that was stupid of me. I just really hope that Kinsher doesn't have multiple stages. Oh, God. <laughs> That's so bad. No. No. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Are you doing good, my guy? Why are you A-posing? You know, free damage is free damage. I shouldn't complain. What do I do? It didn't even touch me, but it did damage. That stinks. Hmm. Here we go again. No wonder they named it Cancer. Yeah, because that's what these patterns are. I can't be expected to look down at the floor.
the boss is even moving at a weird frame rate. What is happening? Need to go, good luck, have fun. Uh, thanks, I'll need it. This guy is very cursed. Hitbox on those is really bad. Can't wait until I have to ask Remnant to nerf cancer. <laughs> or ask Gunfire Games to nerf cancer. Hell yeah. Gonna make a smiley before they despawn. Or well, I'd... or I guess not. Let's see. Might have to swap off to a different weapon, but it's probably a bad idea to use something unupgraded. Whatever, I'll try it. significantly harder to hit in the Nightmare Realm, my butt. I'm gonna give myself carpal tunnel trying to click fast enough to get this thing to fire. Hmm. I'm gonna be honest, I, I can't fight this guy with the frame rate being done like this. Hmm. Can I put the full set of this on? No, that will lead me to full encumbrance. Or heavy encumbrance. Hmm. I'm pretty close to unlocking Bullet Storm for the Gunslinger's archetype. Let's see. What of these things do we even have? Hmm. Nothing that really interests me too much. I don't know what to do here, though, because, like, this boss fight can't run well enough for me to try to fight him. And we haven't been streaming for all that long. Like, do I reset the campaign and hope that the frame rate issues get fixed by then, or what? Time to do some farming. I don't know how much of an option that is. Oh, I can't travel to other worlds from here. That's because it's not a world stone, I guess. But that's very odd. Hmm. 
I'll head back real quick. The game said something about being able to have an adventure mode and a campaign mode active at the same time, so I'll see what that's about in a moment. Okay, we got 500. I can't buy anything with that. That's Root Earth. Hmm. World settings. Are you looking to kill a particular boss and complete a particular quest? Adventure mode. Adventure mode does not reset story campaign progress. Okay, cool. Hmm. About Yaisha. Veteran. All right, while that loads in, I'm going to use the bathroom real quick. Be right back. Alrighty, followed it in quite a The red throat. We return. Maybe I'll figure out what that box key is used for if I find another one of them. I've never seen anything like this before. What's that? It's like a red glowy there. The game is being a bit framey here, but that might just be because it just loaded in. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna try restarting the game. It, it feels like it's having a memory leak. Let's get that fixed up. Hopefully restarting it will help. I'm also going to restart Steam just to be safe. <laughs> 